Yeah, everyone, Meowcity here. We're back playing Darkest Dungeon again today. And the goal today, once again, is a little multifold, but a little more condensed. We're going to be leveling up our group to go into the Crimson Court. And to facilitate that, we're going to be leveling up the Vestal, the... I'm not sure if I want the Jester or the Man at Arms, so we're going to be leveling both of them up in tandem. And a Highwayman. So we're going to get straight into that. Really, I don't want to go into the courtyard for that, so we're going to be going into the cove. We're going to be getting some money and some crests to do that, and something else I don't really care about. And once the highwayman levels up to level 3, we'll be switching other people in and trying to keep the stress as low as possible while doing all of this. So we're going to see how this works. I don't think there's much else I want to bring here, so we're... Oh, should probably bring one blood. And we're good. Recover these lost shipments of rarities, that we may prevent them from falling into even less scrupulous hands. Alright, and do take note that this is not the final party composition, like I said. It will be one or the other of the Jester or the uh, Man at Arms going into position 3. And the Highway Man will actually probably be going into position 2. So we're going to be focusing a lot on bleed with them. Um, as you can see, they're bleeding a lot already. And we're going to try to stun. Um, we're going to try Retribution. Right, that didn't work out too badly so far. Open vein again. Going to crush him, take him out. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Splice off. And now they're all bleed. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life. Uh, we are gonna heal just for that little bit. And take what we can. Take the money. Start bleeding them out. Harvest. Alright, we're going to AoE heal again, and she does pretty good with all those healing buffs on her. We're going to Retribution, so he attacks back every time he's attacked, which will do well with those AoEs. That'll also help keep stress down. There's one gunner down. a good chunk into the other but we're gonna get working on that stress just a little bit bleed him out actually I didn't even need to do that just a hit killed him um heal and can we hit him we can hit him there we go If I need three Ancestor Relics and I didn't scout over here, we might as well. So here's one. That's going to be a pain if they take up multiple slots. Alright, let's go back. Still going to bypass that. I don't want them getting more curses. Ain't 
Right, I want to test out this. Getting rid of Fragile might be good. Torn Rotator on a melee-centric one, though, is kind of big, so... Oh! That got rid of one that uh, was locked in, that's interesting. Right, let's see here. Let's get rid of the stinger. I know we're a little stressed out, but if we do this, we don't get stunned or bled from that thing. We're going to heal. We're going to Retribution again, get that going. Open Vein, get that going on him, since he has all the protection. And we're going to start de-stressing. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we're going to heal again, but only on him. Very nice. We're actually going to bellow this time. Get rid of some of their buffs. And he still goes first, huh? to use the blood, give him bloodlust, and bleed again. The ground quakes. E stress, keep that under control. Um, let's actually try to stun the shaman. Missed, but it was worth a shot. What much health does he have? Well, that was worth a shot too. Would have taken him out. Alright, on the shaman. Now they'll both bleed. Oh no, he didn't uh, get blood. Never mind. Get rid of the stress. We are going to heal, get that under control, and bonk. We have an extra shovel, so we might as well use this. What's this? Heavy boots, move resistance, and protection. Interesting. I don't think I've seen those ones before. Uh, yep, they can eat. Bypassing the eggs. However, we can get this. And all the lovely loot inside of it. Is struck. A blazing star is born. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Right. So, let's see here. Can probably take out the thrall. Yep. Well, I would have taken out the thrall. So, let's retribution him. We're then going to Dazzling Light the Maggot. Guess it didn't work. Alright, not 
horrible. Stress relief. Little bit on the maggot there. Let's bleed him out. Now both the thrall and the maggot go down. We got retribution up so we can bonk the grouper. Let's group heal. De stress. Take out the Shaman, or at least attempt to. And he's gonna get hit back, alright. Finish up on the Shaman, or miss. Uh, continue healing. Inspiring Tune again. Keep up with that as best we can. Open vein, take out the grouper, and shaman down. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. You see here, we don't need another invitation. We got like 19 of them and we're on the Baron. I'm not sure those are gonna continue on to other things, so. Right, open vein on the maggot, get that going. We'll probably Oh, actually resisted the bleed. Wow. That's actually a really low chance. Alright, um, we're gonna stun the grouper. Yeah, we'll harvest. And retribution. There goes the maggot. Open vein. I think we did a little bit more than just open it. Let's heal. And actually... Let's prolong this a little bit here. Inspiring Tune, get rid of stress. And take him out. Alright. I do want that. So... Let's get rid of the Citrine since they're not worth too much. And I have other things that might be needed yet. Map inside. Quest location. Quest still over there, probably. So I'm going to attempt to camp here. Get us a few buffs. I'm not sure this is going to do anything for the food, but we'll find out. Bandit sense won't get nighttime ambush. Melee damage up. Dodge and critical could be good. And we'll go every rose has its thorn. No one else can do anything, so we're fine. Passing that. Here's a fish with goodies on it. So that's the last of the medicinal herbs for now. Interesting. Um, take what we can get. 
remember the holy water being useful for something in here, but I don't remember what, so... I think it was the, uh... Brackish water pools, but... Alright. Let's open vein on the big guy. He resisted the bleed, wow. Alright, since we don't necessarily need to de-stress yet, we're gonna harvest, get them both bleeding. We're going to attempt to stun the Acolyte so she doesn't do anything more to us. And we're going to get the Reposite going. We're going to continue bleeding him. Gonna take retaliation damage, that's good. She'll die on her next turn, don't have to worry about her. So let's slice off, do more damage to the Guardian. I think he has enough bleed damage? No, missing one. So we'll bonk him. Now he'll go down from bleed. Um, let's heal up. I don't think that was necessarily needed, but never a horrible thing to do. Open vein on the brawler. He'll go down now. So just the grouper left. Let's... Yeah, why don't we get him? There we go. Seize this momentum. Push on. Room for this, huh? Well, you can see the argument for switching these out in case I find another one. Oh, there's a citrine. Never mind. And let's use this on her. And keep going. Secret room. I don't think I have a key for that. Don't have medicinal herbs for this anymore. So at least it's stress relief. Actually. I want to test this really quick. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right. This has worked for other locked compartment type things, but I have a bad feeling about doing that, so... Right. Um... The money would be worth more than this is, and we already have max on this, which I would need three of these to... Yeah, that's worth it. Let's not go back. I'm moving forward. Past that. Alright, can we get through this without another curse? Let's take out this one. Try for a stun. Nope. Harvest. And it'd be better short term, but not long term. So let's retribution. Okay, he's fine.
doesn't look like we're gonna get the curse this turn at least. Open vein again. Alright, well, slice off. That one bleeds to death, and if we whack this one, we're good. I get a chance to heal if we prolong this. Press down. All right, well, slightly worth it. Oh, gems can go to four. I thought they'd max at three. Wait, what do we got here? Let's start with the Thrall. Take him out. Uh, we're going to heal the Manid Arms. Harvest. And Retribution. Alright. This might do enough, should do enough to the Sea Maggot. Shaman goes down on his next turn. So let's AoE heal. Slice off. Oh, I meant to hit Slice off, not Harvest. Oh well. And bonk him, he's down, we're good. Don't need the key. But a victory nonetheless. And I guess we'll go clockwise, so starting upwards. Might as well, we have enough shovels. Trade these out. I think I have anything for the fish, though. So... Alright, there we go. Very nice. Low stress. And a good amount of portraits that we needed. No diseases. Free weapon upgrade. I think any of them need that. However, he will and he hit level 3. So now I need to switch other people into this group. So that would be all of them who might only be like one dungeon away from level 3, maybe 2. That's not a horrible thing. But I'll probably wait for other upgrades to keep doing that. Uh, how's the stagecoach network? Level 2 flagellant, but nothing else that we absolutely need. And is it 40 or 50 for the bank? I should. Okay, it's 50, so I need 5 more portraits. That's not entirely horrible. Okay. 
Okay. So let's change him in. 90% of rooms, 90% of rooms. And there are deeds that we need. Otherwise, it's things that we don't need as much. We did unlock the sunken crew, which is a good option. Um, however, think here. It would put him above level 5, and I'm not sure they can bleed. But they can probably be blighted. They can definitely be marked. But they should also go in stress relief. We're not getting enough just sitting around. We'll probably do that with them in a little bit. We'll do the runes right now so I can get the um, deeds that we need for an upgrade. Possibly get other stuff and other money. And next time go do the cove? Questionably. Otherwise just keep working on this group unless we find another fill-in. Or just keep working on this group and keep leveling this stuff up is another option. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, probably only need one of those, actually, one of those, and none of them have the Crimson Curse, so I think we're good on this front. Just double-checking. Yeah. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Now, foreign. You have to do a little bit of Backtracking, I believe, but it's not horrible. That's not great, though. So we'll do this, move her up a little bit. Um, inspiring tune, just get working on that stress right away. Retribution. And move her back. Right, once again, work on that stress. We're going to impale, or not impale, pierce. Take another one out. Um, let's bellow. Back again. Rinse and repeat. Keep getting that stress down while we can, because this isn't really an urgent fight, and we'll actually stun this time. And we can hit him. Finish up. Actually put people in default order. And see what we got here. Nothing. I think I'm going to go back down to this room here. And then I can skip the middle down room there. Middle south. And then I can just go to that upper right room. And I know I'm skipping a lot of these curios, but like, I really don't like any of the books. I've never had good luck with them. Um, we are going to pierce. Like 
face off with that little bit of damage and finish him. It's done. Not. We're still doing fine though, so I'm not too worried. Now that everyone's kind of in place, I can do this. Blight him. Um, let's AoE heal. We're going to slice off. That'll finish off the brawler. Finish off the other brawler if we can on our next turn. This is how a life is taken. We're going to remove a little bit of stress since he can't damage anyone. Heal for that little bit. And bonk. Alright, much needed heirlooms. They are so welcome right now. And we have a pretty clear path to the end now after this little bit of backtracking. Another pretty easy group. Um, Pierce, take him out. We're going to stun probably the cutthroat. Move the jester back by two. Figured this would be a thing, but horrible accuracy, so wasn't too worried. And let's Retribution kill him. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. And Adder's Kiss. Hit him down. Um, he's got four, so we can slice off. Heal up. Don't need damage there, so de stress and finish him up. Get ourselves another torch. Ambushed by foul invention. You know, I would have used the key there. Thanks for that. Nothing really down there. I think I have a thing for this. Yes, I do. Take a little bit of money it gives us. Eat the food we need. Pass that up. We don't need to deal with it. Alright, how do we want to do this? Let's get the courtier. Um, let's stun the Arbalist. De stress. And retribution. I think he still gets. Yep, alright.
took out half of its health right there. Alright, finish this up. Don't necessarily need to heal, so we are going to go for that stun again. Let's de-stress again so we can keep sending them out. And try to finish him. Less damage, less to deal with. Now we're going to get the Arbalist. E-Stress. And... Take that out. There we go. Uh, let's have him investigate. Head up here and we're done. Map that we didn't need. Turn to the hamlet. And a few goodies, I'm not going to deny that. Not the worst run. And it did get them experience. Of course, you can go up with them again. There is a great horror beneath the manor. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. I think it was 18 for the blacksmith. Yep. All right. So we're going to leave that alone for now. Um, they should be fine. Bohan can't <laughs> is just gone, so I can't send him anywhere. So I can get deeds or I can get those much needed portraits for the bank. I think this is a blight charm. Yeah, blight amulet. So I think I'm going to go for this one with the same group just so we can keep leveling them up and get more of the portraits because we only need five more portraits. We're more likely to find deeds in there and there, that's a better chance to get two birds with one stone. Um, Probably going to need that. And we don't need blood, so we are good. Yes. I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. What is with these very split ones lately? All right, bandits, not too big of a deal. Let's um, take out the cutthroat here, we'll blight him. Reap post here. Going to uh, try to stun at least the cutthroat. All right, went off. And harvest. Alright, one down. Two down. Three down. And could probably quickly make that a fourth. Let's do or battle ballad, not inspiring tune. Stun him again if we can. Power. 
There's the re-hit. Hit him again, and... Let's heal up. And finish him up. 1100 gold. Right, let's head up. Don't have bandages for that. Not that it matters, because she opened it anyway. Love when they do that. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. There goes our shovel. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. See what we got on our way. Gonna have to use our other shovel. Don't want to touch this. Supplies. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Seems like there's almost nothing on the way here. Alright, there is a treasure room at least. Don't have anything to dig that up with, not touching that. Got enough blood ever since I got that Venter. Let's actually try to aim for him, then harvest so we get him bleeding. We are going to Retribution. Probably should have hit someone else, but oh well. Uh, let's heal, because that's a lot of damage over time. Place off. Get that blood going. Um, add her kiss, or just take out the dog. And we'll crush that. Alright. He stunned him. Alright. Less damage coming at us. It goes down on the next turn. We just have to worry about the artillery. Bitch is now down, so fair. Heal up. And finish it up. Good supplies. Don't have a key, so we'll just open it. And let's head back down. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a jaunt. Alright, there's a fight on the way back. Take out the occultist. Stun it, just in case. Harvest.
and re uh, retribution. That looks really well on these things. Alright, let's add her kiss. That one should go down. Um, don't think he can really do too much, so let's get rid of the little bit of stress we have. And let's get rid of him. Heal up. Probably could have stunned him, but oh well. I'm sorely lacking accuracy, I guess, so here we go. Stun him. Wow. <laughs> Guess we really need that accuracy. So, it's four, I think that's eight, nine, and we're good. Got enough deeds for when we go back now. I think we only needed like one, so that's really good if we get more that'll be better I'm not sure how many we need for the final upgrade i think it's like 24 or something that and let's go over to this empty room don't have a shovel for that is this right there all right Let's use our firewood, it'll preserve a little bit of the of torchlight, and it'll buff us a little bit. Let's get the dodge and crit. We don't have vent nighttime ambush. Anyone here is religious, so be as useful. So let's do every rose has its thorn. And get rid of stress that way and prevent stress. Right. The promise of safety. Take that. Move on up. I think we get to skip this room. A handsome reward for a task well performed. I figured this would be a thing. We have extra torches, and here's finally a fight. One of the three. I have a feeling that they're gonna split. Hit that one, there's two. Let's see if we can stun him. Well, there we go.
it's all loot. Tried to hit the button, but hit the wrong button. Two more fights. Good thing they're surprised. Let's take out probably this one. Harvest. Not the greatest start, but it's okay. Let's also retribution. And stun. they all go at him. Oh. But almost all of them. Pretty fast. All right, so this actually does more damage, so we'll probably end up doing this. Destroyed. Harvest again, try to get both of them bleeding, and finish up on him. Stun the last one, so it can't do anything. Gonna heal up. Should be fine to finish it. Color me surprised. There we go. sure this works on a regular tree. Nope. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Deeds are good. Um let's just go over here and see what more we can get, because we haven't gotten too much. Place off. That should bleed to death now. Not sure we can stun it, but it's some damage. And, alright. There's a little more money for the trouble, and what's in here? Wait. Well, we're gonna try something a little different here. We're going to impale. That missed, alright. Harvest. Let's... Done this one. Attribution. That's doing good.
Alright, let's take the back row out. Very nice. Then going to stun the second row this time. Hit the first row. So we're going to try to bleed them again. And that should be enough, I think. Yeah, because on his next turn he'll go down. Now we just need the first row, which he can't do anything about, so he'll start de-stressing. And there we go. Do what we can. And I think we're good. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Change out the holy water for the busts, and let's head back. That was a very nice run for the end. Alright, about ten thousand gold. Good amount of heirlooms. Of course, he is now level 3. We gotta change her out. But everyone did hit level 2. Your soldiers' minds are mired in malignancy. Fear has taken root. Huh. I think that's a new one. And just out of curiosity, there's a Hound Master. I would like for a different party, but I would need to use all of the, uh, beads I just got for upgrading this, and it is 24 for the last upgrade here. Anything to prolong a soldier's life. So that's probably it for this time, because... I'm going to have to look at some upgrades. I'm probably going to send a different group out while I get rid of Lemic. Although I'm not sure that's necessarily the worst thing to get. And he can probably just keep going on. And we can just keep leveling them up. Then we just unlocked the normal hag, which is going to be interesting. So, yeah, there's a little bit to think about for me about what I want to do, because I want to keep leveling them up, but there's a few decisions to be made. And we need three more portraits to get the bank, which is another goal of mine to make in the districts. And then we're out of blueprints until we kill more bosses. So, yeah. And then... Also, uh, what to do about a few of these groups, because as you can see, they're just kind of mishmashed, except for maybe this one. And, I mean, this group up here isn't necessarily as what I would like it to be, because Reynold is just kind of thrown in there. So I'll probably be looking around before I uh, make another video, but it'll still probably be posted on time. And... Probably a lot more stuff organized next time around. As always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and have a good one, please.